G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, I've had a bit of a hiatus for the last couple of months of colouring and YouTube um, and just picked the pencils back up this week um, to kind of get back into it again. Um, yeah, just been really busy and other things have been on the cards and yeah, not much time. So anyway, this is where we're at. <laughs> Sorry to um, disappear on you guys, but it's what happens, it's life, and yeah, get on with it, I guess, hey. Anyway, so today I'm just going to start off nice and easy um, for a video to get back into it, and I thought I will do a bit of a haul video from the last couple of months. Um, so this hasn't all been bought in one go, this is, you know, a bit drips and drabs here and there, um, and I picked up a couple of things today for my birthday, which is next month, or well, this month, sorry. Um, so I thought I'd add those in as well and why not do a video before I um, use them all. So I'll start with books. So the first book that I've got here is Matchstick Mouse, a floral colouring book by Morgan O'Brien. <clears throat> and I've seen this on other people's channels and thought it was super cute. I actually don't mind this one because it's more floral themed um, rather than like autumn or winter or summer. Um, in Australia, where I live, our town up is up the top of Australia. We don't really get seasons. We get dry season, which is winter, and summer season, which is hot and humid. And that's it. We don't get autumn. We don't get spring. It's either hot or cold. That's it. Humid or dry. So, yeah, I really liked this one. I've um, actually did one in here already. And, yeah, super cute. Um, the paper is th thin, um, but it's not too bad like it's it's workable so yeah I picked up matchstick mouse so the next book I grabbed is one that's been out for a while a city among the stars by Hannah Carlson um, I do have her other smaller books in the set I've only actually colored in mass the masquerade one I think I haven't colored in any of the others yet I've got so many books to um, try and get through but I I actually am not a huge fan of this one to be honest I'm not sure why maybe I just need to dive in and color something in it to um change my mind I guess sorry about being nasally too guys I've been sick this is week six of being sick so um yeah two lots of antibiotics and all that sort of good stuff and I'm still croaky so sorry about that actually that would be super cute to color mm, might flag that one for the future me to do Interesting. Okay, so yeah, that is City Among the Stars by Hannah Carlson. Uh, the next one I picked up, I do have one of, I think it's his first one, and it is Beauty of Horror 4 Creature Feature. And I really liked this one. I saw this one on um, a flip through, flip through on YouTube, and I actually liked that it was kind of horror theme, um, like the horror movie theme. Um, more specific so I uh, picked this one up I'm actually really sad though because when I was doing my flip like looking through the book and I cracked the spine and the pages have started falling out um, so I'm a little bit sad about that see so when I cracked the spine um, the pages have started coming out so a little bit sad about that <laughs> um, but I really liked this book I thought it was really cool um, I love horror movies and all things horror, so I was really excited to see this one. Um, I actually think my favourite picture... Oh, I love Stranger Things. That was one of the pictures that I bought this book for, was to do that one. Um, and that one's popped out. But the my favourite one I actually thought was really funny was the one with Woody um, in it, where he's got Woody down on the ground. Hang on, I'll show you. Where is he? There he is. And his Chucky doll. I thought that was really cool. And I can't wait to colour that. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm um, a bit sad about the pages popping out. But yeah, I love all the horror theme style stuff. So I'm excited to dive into that one. Um, I can't remember the other books, if I've put them into videos or not. So I'm just not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to have those three um, as my book inclusion. Um, and then I'm going to do pencils next. So as a cheaper set... This is one of the first sets I ever started was, with, was the Milan pencils. We get them from a place called Officeworks here in Australia. It's basically, you know, your office supply store, um, but they have a huge art section. These are actually from the kids section, though. And these pencils are freaking beautiful <laughs> for the price they are. I think they were like 20, 
$7, $28 Australian for the 36 set. But these pencils are bloody gorgeous to use. They're so creamy and so soft. Absolutely love these pencils. But yeah, so I actually got them because my boys are starting to get into coloring and drawing a little bit more now. Um, and this is a set that we can kind of use together, I guess, as well. So, um, but yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. And they are the thick, they have a thick lead too. So they're quite smooth, creamy and soft and yeah beautiful so they're um, just a cheaper set but I like playing around with them because they are so nice um, the next ones I got were the Derwent Pro Color I've had a play with these and I'm not convinced that I like them <laughs> um, I'm used to using Prismas like they're not bad they're just not as soft and I need to learn to use them better. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan or not yet, but I need to go through and sharpen them all and swatch them and do a proper job of um, using them to see whether I actually <laughs> will, en pardon me, will enjoy them or not. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, <laughs> but yeah, yet to be decided. So I've got the pro colors. Um, I love Derwent. Derwent's like, I love the intense. Sorry, I love that Derwent um, artist grade stuff more so, um, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. Um, the next ones I got, I got these back around Christmas time. And I, I same thing, like I've, I haven't really used them. And that's the Brute Funners. Um, these ones are the round ones though. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm... Look, I don't know. They feel really scratchy to me. I guess, yeah, using different, um, I don't know, different pencils. I'm not sure. I don't know. I just don't really like them. But again, my boys have been getting into the colors um, with their drawings and stuff. So it could be just a set that I pass on to them. Um, and it is the big set too. I think it's 380, I think it was. Um, but yeah, I don't know. People say they love them. I don't know, maybe I just need to do like a full picture in them, um, play around with them, see how they feel, and then kind of teach myself. I'm not sure, I don't know. At the moment, I would say probably not a fan. Um, the next thing that I got was a bunch of Prisma refills. Oh, well, open stock um, Prismas, just um, to restock my pencil case. So yeah, a bunch of random colors. Um, these in a bulk price from Officeworks, which again is our office slash art stationery store, is like $2.35 Australian per pencil. So not too bad if you're buying them one or two off. Um, I think they're like $2.85 um, if you do them, you know, in I think it's more than five, you get the discount. So you're better off just buying them um, as you need them, I guess. But so I just went to the office works today. Um, I actually needed to get those pencils, but when I was there, I thought I'll grab a couple of other things that I see. So I actually got these Faber Castell pastels, um, this cute little tin. I haven't opened them yet. So I'm interested to see how they go. I have the Holbein pastel set. Um, I think it was like the 36 set and I absolutely love these. Um, but there's just some times that I don't want to, well, I feel like I'm, that's not meant to be in there, using them um, on cheaper paper and it almost feels like I'm wasting them. That probably sounds stupid, but I just, yeah, I kind of feel like they're going to waste when I'm using them on the cheaper paper. So I picked up these ones to see how they would go. Um, yeah, like I said, I haven't opened them yet, um, but I'd be interested to see how they go because I've got a couple of pages um, unicorn ones that I want to do um, some pastel colors on so I will play around with those um, the next thing I got I guess it's kind of related is a new sharpener and it is just a no brand one from my office shop I just liked that it had um, a longer like a deeper container oh no sorry it is Stedler is it? Duh, sorry <laughs> so it does have a brand um, it is a Stedler one so yeah Two hole sharpener. I like these cheaper ones. They um, they actually don't do too badly. So anyway, that's to come around when I'm like, you know, 
doing stuff outside of the house. Um, I also picked up some washi tape um, just to create some borders and things like that, play around a bit with that. Nothing spectacular. Uh, I also picked up some more of my Memento ink that I use for my backgrounds and I absolutely love these inks. Um, the only thing I find is they do uh, not, uh, yeah, I guess dry up or run out pretty quickly. Um, I guess I'm doing bigger spaces with them so that would make sense. Um, yeah, so I love the Memento. I think these are like $13 for the four, so not too badly priced. Uh, I also picked up these new color twos so i actually have the large new color one set which i got for my birthday last year and i do actually have the small set of the neo ones um i think it's 20 but i wanted to use these well i use these underneath my neo ones and then like smooth out with neo one on top so i wanted to get the bigger set so i had all the colors which matched the neo color ones um, because obviously with the half set I've got colors that I'm not actually using in the Neo ones. Um, so I wanted to get the bigger set so I can use them interchangeably because I love basing with the Neo color two and then coming over the top with the Neo color ones. I absolutely love that. So um, yeah, picked up these. They're not even open yet. I just picked these up today. Um, like I said, I, I use Neo color two all the time. Absolutely love it. But yeah, just wanted the bigger set. And it is, this is actually for my birthday. Um, on the 19th so yeah birthday present and um, the last thing I got which you guys saw me do the unboxing on but I thought I would include anyway is the Sarah Renee Clark um, box uh, what do you call it cards that help you pick the colors and things that you want to use for your coloring so um, yeah the color card logs picked up both sets absolutely love these um, <clears throat> I got the volume one and two. Um, I find that, yeah, when I'm stuck in a bit of a rut, these really do help me um, kind of think outside the box with colors and things like that. Um, yeah, absolutely love them. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I got over the last um, kind of six months. I'm just going to put these here so you're not staring at white. But, um, yeah. Yeah excited to dive into this bigger set for sure um, and yeah can't wait to get some more videos out for you guys again sorry about the absence <laughs> um, but yeah life happens and stuff happens and that's what we get so anyway guys see you in the next video let me know what is your absolute favorite favorite coloring supply that you cannot live without um, maybe something that not everyone thinks of and I'll talk to you guys soon bye